Sure they do. Let's get one more call in before we take a break at 702-365-9200. So from Fargo, North Dakota to Washington, D.C. with Tom, all the way back to California to the Bay Area with Raider Art. Raider Art, it is great to have you on. Good morning to you, sir. How are you? Good morning, Clay. It's Friday morning, just a beautiful. I actually live here in Stanislaus County, if you didn't know. Yes. Yes, I, I didn't want to give away your uh, your 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 place of uh, residence just in case right. you didn't want to. <laughs> but I was like, all right, it's somewhere around there. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? I, I tell you what, Raider Art, I I, I was uh, following you, and I, I I could see that you you were a little disturbed about some of the Darren Waller rumors that were coming out. Uh, what, what do you think now when you see Darren Waller on the stage with Derek Carr to begin the draft? Well, Darren Waller, I, that's somebody I I always look up to ever since like last year as a tight end for the offense. And um, I didn't, like, want him to, like, trade by the Packers. You know, that's what the Packers' businesses are. But, uh, you know, I, I couldn't even stand it. I mean, I know he's a true Raider, in my opinion. You know, I, I always look up to him, especially uh, Max Crosby, uh, Josh Jacob. I know we got uh, Devontae Adams, who was traded by um, – well, traded from the uh, Packers to uh, Raiders. Uh, see what's going down uh, this year. You know, there's uh, it, it, it's a great luxury to have, but I, I know art for you. Like, what do you think is going to happen now for day two, and how's it, how does this roster get filled out by the draft picks they get? Is, what are your areas of concern? Well, the draft, the second round today, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I know here's some like rumors about Mark Davis going to be hiring for Colin Kaepernick's comeback uh, as a quarterback. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen for that because, like, besides Darren Carr. I don't have, like, any problems for Derek Carr uh, since last year, though. But there are so many, like, great quarterbacks ever to, you know, figure something out. Like, I can uh, hopefully just to look for or I'll make, you know, move on to some players like the offense, like the newest or the defensive ones. How worried are you for uh, the Raiders to find that kind of, like, offensive lineman that kind of helps bolster what they need? Because I don't know if it's in the draft, but it could be in free agency. What do you think? Uh, not sure yet. Not sure yet. I can't answer that, but there's, there, there's, there's, there's some of them. There's some of them like, like some more passion about like maybe being a true Raider or some like the different like NFL team fans. Oh, it's good to hear from you, Art. Thanks again for coming on today. We appreciate the call in. Let's do it again soon, man. All right. Yeah. And, uh, tonight, uh, Raiderhead will be performing shout outs to Raider man and, uh, some of the Sonar dude and some of the black hole members will be there. I uh, wanted to give him the shout out as well. Oh, that's right. Good call on that, Art. Thank you for doing so. Raiderhead will be performing live over at the Tropicana with the Black Hole Party, the huge party over at the Trago Lounge at the Tropicana. Go online, blackhole.com. There's VIP seating. It's free admission. Just go and have fun. You're going to have a great time. Corona and Modelo bucket specials. The uh, Trago Lounge over at the Tropicana. And Raiderhead, the one and only Raider tribute band, is performing live. And Stoner Dude, he yeah. already like he's already been interviewed by Sirius XM. Jim Miller uh, had him on uh, uh, earlier this week, or last week, rather, to talk about the huge party that's going on at the Trop with the Black Hole. Awesome stuff. I'll tell you, let's take quick. I want to go there. I know. You know when you and I were there?